and welcome to the Bull Ring in Birmingham for day five of the Rickshaw Challenge. Now, if you were watching last night, you'll have seen Team Rickshaw leave Bolton. They have travelled 101 miles through the night. Goodness me, and if you've been watching the tracker on the website, you will know that Team Rickshaw have arrived here. And to welcome them is an actor and a singer who's had quite a journey himself, all the way from Ramsey Street to the West End. Please welcome Jason Donovan! Good to see you. Have a seat. Have a seat, Jason. Thank you. Thank you. So then, to sit here. To sit, you said, yeah, that would be lovely. That would be lovely. Oh, so chilly. Well, it is a bit nippy tonight, and he should have worn a coat, yeah. Jason. No, I feel, I feel, I, I've See? made the effort, and you know. You'll have a, by the end of the show, you'll have a oh, scarf on. I'm looking like you. <laughs> Fantastic. Now, listen, you're already in the Children in Need mood, aren't you? Because we were doing a bit of a gala performance last night with Gary Barton. Yeah, last night was a great night, and we raised, uh, well, they, they managed to raise a lot of money for Children in Need. Yeah. Uh, there was a little bit of a concert at the end. And what were you, you saying? I got to sing Too Many Broken Hearts, which yes. I haven't... I don't, oh, I don't pull out of the... Uh, <laughs> I don't pull out of the cupboard too often, but uh, no, it was a really successful night and uh, lots of fun, too, yeah, which, yeah. Is, which was the main. Well, I well, if we're lucky, we might, we might later on be able to get Jason singing. What do you reckon? Do you think we should? <laughs> we'll try that. Now, I understand as well that you're you're a bit of a cyclist, aren't you? Love cycling. Yeah. I mean, I you know, I, I think it's a great form of transport. I think it's got a long way to go. Yeah, you know, sure. there's a lot of dangers in it. But for me, getting into town, and I, I live in London, you know, yeah. much easier than the it's motorbike. Get around. Yeah. yeah. yeah Mind you, the rickshaw that they've been cycling, is, it's, it's quite wide, and we have been stuck in quite a few traffic jams along the way, but yeah. uh, you'll find out all about that. Now, we've got this walking map, right, right. that we're, we're getting people to wear. We wondered, is it possible to find somebody called Rick Shaw to wear it? Well, we've, we've almost got there. Ladies that. and gentlemen, let me introduce you to 78-year-old Eric Shaw. <laughs> <laughs> This is Eric. Eric, can I shake you by the... You can get your hand around there. Now, super to see it. Now, I'm assuming that people have made that connection before. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I think when I was in primary school. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Sorry to take you back to those times. But let me just, let's just bring you in and have a little look at your middle here, because this is the route that Team Rickshaw have taken since last night. So there we go. Look. Set off from Bolton, down to Manchester, all the way to Stoke-on-Trent, goodness me, into Stafford, Wolverhampton, and then have arrived here in Birmingham. It is quite an achievement, isn't it? All 100 and what? miles of it. Now, I'm sure you'll agree, it's lovely, isn't it, when celebrities turn up to cheer you on, but can you imagine Team Rickshaw's surprise when, goodness me, somebody turned up two o'clock in the morning in Middlewich, which is around Eric's Middlewich. There we are. <laughs> it had to happen sooner or later. On day four, the weather suddenly took a turn for the worse. Team Rickshaw were behind schedule and it poured. Daniel stayed strong. Dan, how you feel? Humpty dory. Feel like duck on water. So how's the rain? I think I'm drowning. Are you alright? You've had a lot of swimming lessons. After Keith attempted to make up some ground, it was important his daughter Eleanor matched his pace, so I pushed her through what would be her toughest shift so far. Come on, catch me, catch me, catch me. Yes, you can, yes, you can. I am trying. I know you are, I know you are. Think about why you're doing this. Think about all those bullies and what they would say now if they were watching you do this. Yeah. Yeah? Now dig in and let's push to the finish. Come on. Come on! Come on! Yeah! That was probably the hardest one I've done so far. You are incredibly strong, not just physically, mentally. I'm struggling on this hill. Yesterday, it was raining so badly, and my legs hurt, and I felt a bit miserable, and I might have had a little cry. And of course, lots of our team members with varying disabilities have sometimes flown up certain hills. So I've got to play my part now and get up here, rain, or no rain, and hell or no hell. And later, on the night shift, with Peter at the helm of the rickshaw, the bad weather just wouldn't let up. Why did I jinx the weather? I said earlier, oh, it's lovely and dry, and then I said I didn't mind it if it rained. 
As soon as I jump on, it starts raining. After hours of cycling, it was time for a well-deserved break and a bite to eat. Well done. Pizza, I've got some hot dogs for you. Oh, lovely. All right, mate. Lovely food. Yum. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> All he's done is look at the food. He's got no idea he just gave it to him. Hey. John Bishop, how are you, mate? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I just hit John. <laughs> He's looking at me then in case I was Gary Barlow. I've never seen anyone except my wife more disappointed that it's not Gary Barlow. If there's any other 17 year olds watching at 1 o'clock in the morning on a Monday, unless you're on a rickshaw, you're not kicking it, sister. <laughs> Can I have a go with the bike? Carry on, you moon. Bye! <laughs> Bye! I'll do the rest of it! <laughs> Peter lost his mother and sister in a serious car accident in 2007. Riding the rickshaw with his father, Jeff, has given them both a chance to reflect on how it's affected their lives. When I think of Jeff, that's all I can think of, this smile. How has he been then, you know, over the last couple of years? Can you tell when your dad's feeling a bit down? I know he does get down at times, but he fairly keeps himself to himself at those times, and he's, he's just like, because of having to get me through it, he's always kept strong around me. Does it feel good to be pushing yourself and to be out on a challenge together? It's just, you know, nice to rebuild our bond a little bit and spend a bit of time just me and him. If it wasn't him teaching me that, you know, if you keep pushing, you will see a benefit on the other side. And, you know, I won't be here pushing myself today. Some people can't comprehend the impact it has on people's lives. It's definitely worth putting your hand in your pocket and, and giving. Where do I go the more money I'll raise? Oh, this is killing me. That was probably the hardest one I've done. Makes me feel like I'm not a good for nothing. Makes me feel just amazing. Well, I tell you, it's amazing how all of these layers have just been peeled away as we travel along and what we're what we're hearing is just really quite extraordinary. Now, I'm joined by uh, Daniel's family here. So we've got Dad Steve, we've got Shannon, and we've got Ashley here. Now, as we've been saying, Steve, you know, we've been talking a lot as we travel along, and, I mean, Daniel's condition, pneumococcal meningitis, I mean, it's, it's changed you all, really, as a family, hasn't it? Oh, yeah, massively, yeah. yeah. What, what kind of differences, I mean, the main differences, would you say, um, before and, and now? Well, I mean, obviously, he was only young now, then. He's, he's a young man now, and he's, he's obviously not as he should be, but he's yeah. better than he ever could at the start of it. I mean, coma for three or four days. Yeah. And uh, never spoke for months. Bent and buckled like in uh, flexion, I think they called it. Yeah. Never thought he'd get a stand up, never mind yeah. ride a bike. Well, there you are, and he is incredibly strong. I mean, what, the things I've witnessed have been powering through the countryside. It's <laughs> remarkable. But um, anyway, it's what, what it... What is quite interesting is that uh, he's not very good with his directions, I'll say. <laughs> and, uh, and this is classic, I'm sure you'll agree, this is classic Daniel, because, uh, well, he took a certain turning uh, just a little while ago, and he's made quite an entrance, uh, because you'll see him here uh, coming through Selfridges. <laughs> he made his way through the food hall, um, which is classic. Of course, everybody cheered him on. I mean, everybody gets behind Daniel anyway. And uh, he's quite. There's Mum obviously there as well. Look, he did very well to avoid the Christmas puddings. But uh, speaking of which, Mum is on the back of the rickshaw. Have you been managed to feed the family? Yeah, yeah, we've been all right. You've been all right. They've, they've been really good, actually. They've, they've yeah. not been falling out or anything. It's been brilliant. <laughs> very good. Well, I'll tell you what, Mum and Daniel will be pleased to hear it. And here they come now, so come on down, you lot. Let's hear it for Daniel and Carol. Good luck, Daniel. Come on. Lead the way, as always. In you come. And no doubt, Carol and Daniel will deserve a well-earned snuggle with the family. Charles as well and Auntie Barbara. Come on over and say hi. Come on, Carol. Don't feel you can't have a kiss and a cuddle because the cameras are here. Go on, get in there. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Isn't and, it? And it's not just the family that are here as well because we've got the staff from St. All Day Here Hospital who have been caring for Daniel throughout. Uh, yeah. So here is Dr. Appleton. First of all, now, Doctor, what was the prognosis like for Daniel? 
It was difficult to say from the start, but all children are different. All brains are different. He was really sick, almost yeah. in a coma, but we ha had faith. Yeah. And we believed, and with we, we, the team we have to put them together again, it was fantastic. So yeah. I never gave up. And it was difficult for mum and dad to say, will he walk, will he talk? But I honestly believed that he would. Yeah. But he did so amazingly well in the first three or four months. And to be discharged within four months of, of his illness was just fantastic. Yeah. But it is a teamwork. I mean, the two nurses here, it was Steph and Perry from Alder Hay, and the therapist who can't be here today, plus the parents, were all part of the team. It isn't just a doctor, it is a whole team spirit and the teamwork that makes him do what yeah. he's done. It well, it's, fantastic it's a remarkable success. job that you it all is. do. I mean, it really is. He's been telling us, hasn't he, over uh, yeah. the last couple of days how grateful he is to, to the team at the hospital. So anyway, this is how you can help the Rickshaw Challenge and support children in need. If you're a father like me, please text team to 70705. Those texts will cost you £5 plus your standard network charge and the whole £5 goes directly to children in need. If you want full terms and conditions, just log on to the website, bbc.co.uk forward slash Thank you. Come on, man.